Hello YouTube, welcome to you and I play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm very excited to bring this game. Today with me, instead of Ed, we have Pete. Say hi Pete. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I'm going to give Pete the first go. Because uh, I'm going to go through it very quickly. It's probably not going to last very long. We've started a new game. I have played this game before. Yeah, put it on hard Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go well. <laughs> that's going to go well for you. Uh, we'll just talk as we play started a brand new game so you've only got <laughs> Isaac unlocked we haven't got any of the things unlocked oh great down in basement okay here you go well I'm used to this because I'm used to not playing with the D6 so burning basement is new in Afterbirth Afterbirth is the DLC uh, uh, expansion for Binding of Isaac Rebirth which is the remake of the Binding of Isaac Flash game come on Pete <laughs> oh this is going to be <laughs> it's going to be as painful as playing a game with Ed is I'm going to blow that up. Blow that up. Find out. Um, yeah. This game, the expansion came out on Friday on the 30th. But Pete had better things to do. Yep. <laughs> like driving. That's pretty good for a start, it. actually. You want to pick that up early on. Tech 2 early on is great, because you can build your run around it. But late on, it's yeah. definitely. It doesn't It's wobbling. Look well. at this. This is new. So there's a lot of new exciting things that Pete and I have not yet seen. Uh, I've seen like one new item when I played on Friday briefly. Um, yeah. It was like an item where if you hit an enemy multiple times in a row, then your damage increases. That's for pretty that Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> right, hopefully we can get the ability to fly. Oh, I don't know. There's no deal with the devil. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself a Joker card, but I wouldn't hold out hope for that. Okay, since. Uh, since recently, I've moved house, so we have a new microphone and recording setup, which hopefully go to the oh, boss. Pete. No, no, fight no, the boss. We've got the ice cream man card, man. It's Polyphemus. Mm, you'd be lucky. You could at least fight the boss while you're next to it, then. No, I'm, I'm going back, and then we can just go straight down once we beat it. I hope if I have, beat the boss, hopefully we'll have less of the. Um, well, you wouldn't know about this because it's usually with Ed that I manage to knock the microphone at least once every single time we record. Uh, bombs explode a little bit faster now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you, you haven't gone. Where are you going? Okay. Keep looking for this hangman card. You're going to get it or not? What is that thing? It's a. I think it's a corn fly. I meant the little thumb that was popping up out of the ground, making. And then an exploding bum thumb. Well, you've got a gluttony fight, and you can get to what he drops. HP at this point would probably be decent. Uh, HP upgrade rather than red HP. Yes! I made a dodge! <laughs> yes! Yes, that's what we want. And a key, that's going to be really useful on the next floor. Hurrah. And you have this two of clubs, so before you use any bombs, don't forget to pop it. Mm. Don't think there's any tinted drops on this floor, though. So, um, I wanted to start this from scratch. I do have a file which I didn't get real Platinum God on in the end, because I didn't have any time to actually play the game to the vast extent that you need to play the game as the Lost in order to get anywhere near a run that will approach... Um, you know, winnable as the lost. Because I wanted people to sort of see the game from the beginning as I played it. Um, or rather, yeah. as I got introduced to it. I first think I saw 1F Jeff. We're going to have to do a lot of runs, though, to, uh, yeah, to, to get, get you any point. decent at the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good for me because I, I haven't really played the re Rebirth that often. So um, there's going to be a lot of spoilers for people who haven't played Rebirth. I'm hoping it'll at least inspire one or two people to. Join us in the game. Oh, when you've beaten Monstro, do you want to show people the seed that we're playing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Fortnite FB. Roger. Roger that. Anyone who wants to play along at home can do. See if you can do better than Pete. <laughs> of course, if you've unlocked <sighs> anything. What is this Find new it. pill? Eat it. I found pills. pills. So, are those different coloured pills? Like, just so exactly the same as normal pills. There are new, new colours in the pills, because there's new pills. Okay. So there's a wide variety of options. Basement 2 is very vanilla. I like it. Oh, Whoa. dust is faster than you, so you want to dodge around the thing. It's got a lot of health. Try not missing it. It's hard! Okay, well I've screwed use, up my deal with the devil. Use gems. the use the environment to make it slow down because it has to. It slows down when it turns and bounces off rocks. Speed down. That's really <laughs> oh, going to no. help you out. 
Two of spades. That's double you. you keys, isn't it? Wait, did you use the two of... Yeah. yeah, I did. You don't want to use that right now. Keep hold of this until you need to use a key, then you can get the I've maximum out. I've got two hearts left. Yeah, because you crap at the lust fight. <laughs> that one's going to explode. Another thing people may have noticed if they have seen the Binding of Isaac before is that I have a colorblind mod on, which okay. changes the color of a few of the champions. So they're more recognisable. Might as well take that, don't go anything else. Um, you've already ruined your deal with the Devil Chance, so you're probably not going to make it past the face. What the trip. hell? Um, I don't like this room. But it also, primarily for me, it will change the colour of the item charge in the top left corner. So if you watch anybody else play this game... Well, that's how that's just a black card. Okay. Um, yeah, it changes the colour of the black card, because I was always going, is that a black card or a red heart? And finding out it was the one I couldn't have. Nice. Yeah, a little bit too late to get Spirit of Hearts, but that's okay. Uh, it also has, causes, it does a couple of things that causes graphical glitches, like you'll see underneath Monstro earlier on, the shadow, because it was bigger, it flipped. So some of the shadows are increased in size. But for me, uh, well, good luck with that. Uh, use that first before you go in there. Oh, you don't want to go in there, really, you've only got five cents. Yeah, Keep going. I don't think it's worth going for shock. That looks... Champion Red Card. Um, so, the Explodey ones have... The Ippercat ones have a bulb on the bottom as well, because they're, for colourblind people, difficult to distinguish from the not uh, See, not I find it actually harder to distinguish them with this mode on than with it off. Because I'm not colourblind. But it doesn't change the colour of them, so you can still use the colour. It adds the graphic to them. Anyway. Just just a few changes because I'm colourblind and luckily this is not one of those games where the colours of things is a huge thing. I used to try and play, what's that game where you have to shoot the balls at the other balls? Bubble bubble? And you have to match up colours, like you got a cannon with a marble in it. Mm -hmm. You have to fire it at marbles. Matching the colours and I was like, well is that green or you know, yellow, is that blue or purple? Right? Why did you walk into the spider? You've got to bait spiders. That's the trick with them. Ah, now you can definitely go into the other room. That, the lemon party thing, lemon mishap, yeah. it looks like it's... That's not going to do anything against this boss, is it? Some think so, no. <laughs> so it's empty when it's empty. It goes black and then it goes, like, red, I think. Because I literally can't tell the difference between a single charge and a double charge. Wow. That's really odd. It is for you know, people with correct colour vision. I really like the new bosses in this game. Yeah, this one is really cool, especially. It really <laughs> throws you off though, when he like chucks the bomb through the other hole. It's, it's kind like, of fun. What? What is he doing? Enjoyable. Oh my god. So Pete's well there's well that, was, that wasn't red heart damage, was it? Monster's tooth! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I unlocked something. So we're gonna be in like knocking through this, taking okay. taking down all the unlocks. You don't go into the shop, and you can because it will be free to get into. It may be worth a look. See if you can protect yourself from the next floor's slightly more difficult damage. Good. That's Ooh, a lot of money. So now I can definitely go to the shop. And I can. I think. No, I won't pop the two spades yet because I've got a golden key. And there's a key there. Yeah, don't use the two of spades until you're actually going to spend the key. Backtracking is slow. So normally at this point we talk about the sort of thing that, sort of items that we need, but what we actually need is someone who's actually more skilled at the game. Well, I think we need I this should buy item. that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Aha! Ah! It's the restock item. But so it, now in future when you buy something, the store will restock. Yeah, good job. <laughs> that was well worth it. I'm going to take the No, no, back. no, you want, you want the lucky key because it would cause chests to drop and more keys and it's a lucky key. <laughs> Okay. okay. So why did this shop not restock when I got that item? Probably because it will replace an item when you take it. You've already yeah. taken the item, so... Alright, let's go down to the next floor. I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be honest. I... <laughs> I think you is, are as well. This is the basement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want that. That's very handy. Poop. Poop seems pretty lucky. Occasionally you do get... The most amazing things from poop. The um, it's really weird seeing ancient 
like original game stuff because I've been playing the game on the same save file for like 230 hours. <laughs> I've still not unlocked everything and now there's even more stuff to unlock. Um, but seeing what it was like back at the beginning before you put any money in your donation machine or anything like that, no worries. That's great. Yeah, this is just... Where's all the stuff? Vanilla Isaac. Sort of. There's not really going to be that many new items unlocked at the minute, really. No, there won't be. And... Don't walk into the bony shop. <laughs> oh, God. Bony are probably one of the hardest enemies to oh. learn to <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was so lucky. That oh was, that's God. what we call a clutch dodge. Just yeah. dive through the door at the very last second. It's like escaping through the window. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty amazing part, but it was completely unintended. I tell you what, the tech 2 damage is pretty abysmal. It's it the really piercing is. shots that really get. I thought it'd be better this early on in the game. Now, versus um, versus Larry Jr. here, it's going to be great if you can get it along his length. Yeah. Just so. And I think we're gonna blow this up. Don't even know what items we have to unlock. There's only like three items from the original rebirth that I haven't actually unlocked. Which ones were they? I don't remember. Uh, I Probably. haven't unlocked the body, Godhead, and whatever else you get for beating the loss. For getting real black. Um, I'm not even sure. I can't remember. Isaac's heart. No, no, I've got Isaac's heart. I thought Isaac's heart would be an amazing thing for the lost. But if, by the way, if people at home have no idea what I'm talking about, just play along. <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll find out in due course what you have to do in Isaac. Oh. You just have to take it as it comes. None of it makes any sense. Yeah. At first. The lost is a, a unique character in, in computer gaming in as much as you cannot get hit once in the entire game. Well, I was playing this class. Does Holy Mantle work? Holy Mantle does allow you to get hit. Well, to take one hit per room. <laughs> I believe that they've buffed the Lost uh, in Afterbirth, but I haven't seen it. it. Might be worth it. No idea what it'll do. Whoa! Oh well, I don't think that's worth it. So that would take a see the boss item, really. And, and the actual item in the item room, that would be handy. Because I think I need it. My damage is pretty poor. Well, eventually we'll get the D6 with Isaac. I um, I don't I haven't unlocked the D6 on. I forget how. That's that's a really good one. Forever and then. I think that's going to be my main source of damage now. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not a dangerous source of damage. These new dips, by the way, watch out. They're pretty They're aggressive, fast. but they still don't aim at you, so that's a bonus. They've got like little chunks of corn in them as well. Yeah. <laughs> Corn has uh, appeared in, in the Binding of Isaac. Well, there goes the deal with the devil again. I think I'd already screwed it up. I picked up loads of red hearts this fall. Um, Blue attack fly is a lot weaker than red attack fly, but also it's a lot further away from you, so you don't have to get right up in the enemy's faces. Gurdy, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is a He's new Gurdy. Hey, Blue. Get that fly in there. Why not? Oh. Well, <laughs> it may have been worth trying to find a spirit heart for the... Uh, for the purposes of the boss fight. Oh dear. Well, you would have lost it. This is a horrible go, Every time he moves, go around the side. Yeah. That's go on, the, fly. Go on, fly. Really. You can do it. Oh. Okay. Look. Okay. <laughs> I, I was standing over here, and he shot over here. And he still hit you, which is how bad you are. I think he's been buffed, honestly. No, this is the same dirty. <laughs> oh, it's definitely easier to dodge from the side. <laughs> he says. <laughs> this is going to be a long fight. Good as Oh my boss. god. Are you even going to survive this? Well, this is good from your point of view because I you're going to play as well. <laughs> it's only been a 15 minute run so far, and that's including the introduction. Well, Blood Clutch is a good, uh, good damage upgrade. I think Tech 2 has a uh, straight damage downgrade in the Tech Laser. Is that all you're doing? Okay. Down. <laughs> Tired of this. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> to a harder floor. <laughs> Game needs to be harder. There's going to be a lot of um, short runs to begin with. You might as well get them. Yeah, definitely. There's going to be a lot of short runs to begin with because we haven't unlocked the majority of the actual you know, game. 
Yeah, I guess. Well, do we only need to get to Mum? Yeah, it's only Mum. Game's <laughs> over. So, careful. I only need to do that. Only. I just need to get to Mum. Just need to not die on Mum. I'm feeling a bit more confident about this tech now, especially on this room, where I'm going to get hit about six times. It took me a very long time to learn the aggro range of the spider. And also, they have this rhythm. So you get in aggro range and then move out of aggro range again. I can't stand them. I, I haven't learned that yet. Luckily, they're, you get them from very early on, so you get a lot of practice with spiders. Especially when you play as the boss. <laughs> you have to do the same floor over and over and over again. That was possibly a good use, yeah. You just have to get them to walk on it. I don't think you can control where they go, you can just control where they fire, and therefore where they stop. Oh, yeah, even more about these. Oh god. Stop walking into- Right, look. <laughs> I, I understand how difficult it is to avoid their bone, but- What?! <laughs> Did you see that shot? Actually, um... You know, avoiding walking into the bony itself. Is this gonna do anything? I'd very much like to see, because this is after birth we're on now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the next shot's gonna be no bug pop. No, I think it's entirely blood clots because your non-blood clot eye has got a laser on it. That is fantastic. That's an amazing thing. Oh no. Now we get to see Pete's true skill. Yay! Yay! I well, thanks it. for watching. Still have a go. Yeah. You might as well do two in one episode. I'm yeah. going to use the keyboard unlike Peter. I think, I think that's going to be the take on most of the episodes. It's going to be me doing a crap bash, which will end in about so, ten minutes. Unlock by having... Maggie... I almost got Maggie there. Did you? Judas is just locked. Not picking up hearts at two levels. I think we can do some of these. Right, right now. But it's the items. The items are what really make the game. Okie dokie. And the brooms and the monsters. No, I mean, <laughs> you play the game because you can get such amazing item synergies and really shit on the game properly. But you do need to be good in a sense, because even me, with good items, oh, I can die. Well, this is true, because when I was playing as the Lost and I got some amazing setups, it's the champions you see that can do it. I might as well fight the boss now. What difference is it going to make? Oh, why is it always Little Horn? It's like, <laughs> like Little Horn's the only actual don't boss on there. don't see this rubbish new boss anymore. <laughs> You can shoot your bomb, the bombs that he drops back into him, I think. Yeah, but ah, stop moving, you bastard. This is the annoying bit, because you have to kite this around. And not get hit by the bombs whilst he's doing it. Yeah, go that way. Oh, there. Can he spawn more than one shot at a time? I don't think so. Because I've been watching Northern Lion play it and just not attack that thing. Why don't you spawn next to the bomb you just made? That would be really helpful. Come on, guy. It's really difficult to hit him with slow tears. Like, you're having a uh, good time with, with the um... Ooh, that was lucky. That was even more lucky. Oh, even better. Thank you. <laughs> he just blew himself up. He just went so over the top on bombs that he kept <laughs> killing himself. Um, with a thing like you know, the Tetsu laser, it does become somewhat easier to beat the guy because you don't have to worry about the travel time of your shots or indeed the range of them. Yeah, it, it did make that first boss a lot easier. I think the first time I fought him I had something similar. This is going to be the annoying thing. So we're going to explode and help. Although we can get a spirit heart out of it. We do have bombs for that. And a key, that's right. I wonder whether this counts as the HP I'm not supposed to pick up in order to unlock Eve. Or did it just say unlock seven heart containers? That was Maggie. Seven heart containers gets you Maggie. Yeah. It should be doable because the majority of the items available in the game at the moment are going to be HP. Oh, we'll take it. It's not like we can do anything else. And you can now leave the room while holding up an item. No. <laughs> no. Ooh. Ooh. What? That was lucky. Would you trade HP or if it's a... Oh, Ooh, mind. I do like lost contact though. Shield it is at this stage. Oh, I took damage. There goes my uh, cane opportunity. Look. Just fuck off, will you? That is a really difficult thing to get out of the way of. Normally, you'd go around the... And you can sort of half float through the walls as well, which is odd. That said P1 when I walked to the top of the... Yeah. Well, the, the, the little haunt there can obviously go where it wants. I, on the other hand, am constrained by... Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll take this. And then we'll see what's in there. So you get there's no there's some HP on the floor, so I won't go to the piggy bank every time one coin drops, an extra one does. Every time you get hit, it drops a coin. Okay. I don't take damage, I think. Are you not going to take Spirit Hat from the shop? Uh, what's the one? I oh, wasn't yeah, really paying. Yeah, there's a free Spirit Hat. Oh, it's a free Spirit Hat. Oh, I'll say free Spirit Hat. I'll blow this up. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Lots of money. Very much a fan of that. So now we've got more money than we had before we bought piggy banks. Mm. Kind of justifies my picking up a piggy bank, I think. Although we've got less HP. Um, well, you've got more containers. Yes. I think this is looking pretty good, to be honest. Burning basement. I've not done the burning basement. Let's see what's in here. Uh, okay. I think it just means that it's just basement, but everything's on fire. Well, yes. I think the worst thing to have that on is with the little jumpers. Because uh, they are thing, please. Do a lot one. harder. They're a lot harder when they're on fire. Uh, they have more damage. Oh, that was really bad. Did you see that? Just pretend it didn't happen. It's not bad in my eyes. I hate these um, <laughs> double spiders because I don't know when they're going to explode into two spiders. There's a lot to be said for getting up in their faces and ensuring that your tears you. actually hit them. But these are uh, shielded tears. If you can get something awesome like. I don't even think Death Touch is unlocked, but. Uh, some sort of piercing shot, maybe keep his arrow. This is a new room and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, then don't give me a long, a long way to move. All non square rooms are new. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and I can't see shit. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Isaac, by the way, does deal with a couple of um, possibly difficult issues. Oh, that was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing really well, and no, nope. turns out I'm well in range of the spikes. The saying this is a basement, I've taken far too much damage. So what are the issues with Isaac? Like, you've only got one heart left. No, That's I mean, it, it talks about some difficult things. Like, for example, that you have an item called Tough Love, which is represented by um, uh, <laughs> a parent set of knuckle dusters, and causes you to shoot teeth. Is that based on the amount of teeth you shoot? Is based on your luck? Yes. Okay. But the they do a more ridiculous damage. amount of damage. Yes, and there's also a tinted drop there. I don't know if you noticed. I did. We should have said something. I would have if you navigator. <laughs> Person in the in the passenger your, seat. Your your shop at. is right above you. You don't know it's a shop. There is a bit of fire on the floor, but it won't do anything when I walk into it. It is a shop. Oh, this is bad. This is a really should, bad shot. I think you should donate. donate. See how many three coins it accepts <laughs> before it. Let's take this though, why not? We can't use the donation tree. One you makes you larger. Okie dokie. I've never seen that before. Do you think that increases your damage? Or just hitbox? <laughs> I think it just makes you easier to hit. Oh, fuck me. That'd be an interesting pill to abuse. Uh, how do you do this? I think you have to. Well, they'll explode it gradually. Hurt. I know there's probably a way of doing that that doesn't get you hit. I wasn't really <laughs> I'm not here for the amount of time it's going to take me to figure out. Oh, shit. oh, I've got a deeper voice. That's interesting. Pete. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. This is... I'm throwing. I only get to play as Isaac. So it's not like we can have a, you know, an OP Azazel run or something. Just to wet our whistle. Or we could just whack the game to... <laughs> nah, once you get... Oh my god. I genuinely thought that was not going to hit me. Once you get um, the hang of it, playing on normal difficulty is so easy. The actual you've, difference is not that great as well. You've got to spend quite a while sort of zoning into the game and trying to figure out... Oh, you could take another pill. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's abuse it. <laughs> Try and get as big as possible. This is me. So I think flooded caves is the equivalent of burning basement for the caves. Because we haven't unlocked the difficult versions of these floors and I'm still doing really, really badly. Oh my god! 
sometimes spiders don't move as far, like, they have a reasonable rhythm. They move like five squares every n seconds and you bait them, but sometimes they move ten squares and walk right into them. Sometimes it's like they they move the five and then they just forget to wait <laughs> and they're like, right, I'm going to carry on moving. That new silkworm there is going to explode into four diagonal shots. I got hit by them. Why does this one keep changing colour? Is it going to be a different champion depending on where it can? That's, that's... I don't know what that's all about. Oh, I think so. Well, there's more XP for us. If I can just avoid losing this spirit heart. No, I avoided taking red heart damage. As long as I don't take any well, red heart damage against the boss, we can at least have some chance to deal with the devil. I don't even know what we can get on the deal with the devil at this stage, because obviously... Do a lot of those it, items haven't been unlocked either. Do you reckon it changes depending on oh, brilliant. which type of floor it is? That was worthwhile. It changes depending on what the stuff in the deal with the devil. Yeah, so if there's like a burning basement, do you get uh, a special I'm burning devil? I'm really item, sure that no. I'm really sure the deal with the devil is just deal with the devil. Yeah. Oh shit. This one's gonna explode into four. Please break our <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone! <laughs> Mom! I oh my god, good. I can't get my shots through because I've got shielded things. I'm just not gonna explode. How's, how's your range looking? Lame. If People play down the range. range of them shooting, then you Yeah, but I still have to get my shot through the gap. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, yeah. I've got three hits. <laughs> A square room! Hooray. That was lucky. That was very close. Oh, okay. Uh, we might as well take it. We've <laughs> just unlocked it. Run. And we've now got the AAA battery, so we can use this every two rooms, I think. Okay. It's probably a secret room, it usually is. Yeah. That's just a thing you learn from playing far too much. Mm -hmm. Instead of you I wouldn't know, have known. <laughs> going outside. You do break the bony bones as well. With your shield and tears. Oh, oh. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I think they're, they're one of the monsters in this game which have the best aim. I don't think there's a monster with a better I aim. I think they track you. They, like, lead their shots. But also you have this... Um, when they shoot at you, there's an instinct to sort of turn around yeah. and try and dodge around it, and that's because you do that, they hit you. Now, what wow, is what that? is this? We might as well bite it. Charged baby. Hello? It's a <laughs> I'm going to take this as well. And this. Oh my goodness. Pills. So how do you feel about this new announcer that tells you what you've just used? I think he's pretty sexy. Do you? He's got a pretty... Lovely voice, to be honest. It's got a very Hollywood voice. Yeah, I mean, they must have hired them to do it. I'm not I a fan of it, because I think the thing is, he doesn't say it the way I read it when when I say it in my mind. Have I been to the ice cream? I got monsters. Explosives. Oh, of course you go for that. Thanks, monster, you stick. I'm very slow, actually. Oh, yeah, I've got a shield or two. He's actually defacing in the dark. Oh my god, I walked into him. He. <laughs> you're tilting. You're tilting. I am tilting. I yes. think you could get away with just standing underneath him. I'm trying to avoid being up. shot by all the other stuff on the screen, which I can't get to shoot because my shielded tears keep breaking on. That's probably going to get rid of. A fucking eye. <laughs> Excuse me? Can you not do that? If it's all the same to me. Look at this. I can't do enough damage to get rid of this fucking thing. Look at that! So shielded tears are actually turning out pretty bad for you. Right now. Okay, that was good. Right. There's some times where it is get really that good. Hard. Um, I think you got it fairly early on. Ah! What caused that? I don't know what's happening. I have no idea. Temporarily froze Gerdy for some reason. Just need to get rid of the boss, make him stop spawning things. Oh my god. I've lost my uh, yeah, eternal your eternal heart. heart's gone, but you've got a spirit heart. So oh, the that. spirit heart came from a spit up scapula at the start of the thing, which means when you get down to half the heart, you get given the spirit heart. Okay. Which means I'm <laughs> I nearly died. 
Oh my god, how much tank? I think you forget when you've played the game for a while that early on there's so few items that can be any huge benefit to you. Like this one, which is a speed and a damage upgrade, which I could have done before I started. Uh, I'm just going to go because I can't see the map. It's not looking like a promising run, to be honest. It's not. There are so, so I, much I do think the game is harder when you first start playing it. Simply for the reason. Why don't you do that and then I can shoot I think solely the D6 is an amazing item to just get an overpower up. I don't know how many damage upgrades there are available to us now that we haven't actually unlocked so many things. I don't know how many unlocks are there. There's like 400 in. items in the game. Oh, that was very close. I nearly succeeded at that. I don't know why I got two coins out of there. I probably should have used monsters long at the start and squashed everything, but never mind. There is a battery. So I'm guessing my battery baby is just dropping batteries every time. Well, we got rid of the one that's probably going to be the most annoying. Oh, see that? Yeah, it's just that instinct to dodge to the side. It's like, uh, did you ever play the original Doom? Uh, yeah. Or even the new Doom. The Mancubus was explicitly designed to shoot one rocket at you and one rocket to the side so that if you sidestepped, there was half a chance <laughs> that you would hit it. How are there this many of these things? I can't do as much DPS as there is damage to be done. To <laughs> Luckily, that other thing's gone away. I don't even remember damaging it that much. But it's like, look, the... everything stops again. Maybe it's the battery. It must be the battery thing. Or are there any other unusual items you picked up? I think that's the only new item you picked up. Should we see what the extended head is? I think it's just that. Oh, it shows okay, you so all the your items, items you've got and the time that you've been spending in the room. So yeah, the only new item is that. Uh, Ooh, I like here. these actually. Let's just get one of these, and it's not that one. Your yeah, spacebar item oh. is fairly rubbish. I'd like to replace it, but I don't know what my options are. Probably don't want to go into the arcade because the only things I want from an arcade are pretty much off limits to me. As a result of the fact I only have half a red heart and haven't seen a single red heart drop on this entire floor, which has been a very long floor. Die! Oh, that was, was a good. couple of them. That was alright. Speed up. Oh, that's nice. That actually gives me a little bit of the new ability. Did we get a speed downgrade or something? I feel like that happened. Um, maybe that was on your run. It's really hard to Bought distinguish run from run. Yeah, especially if you do more than one in a row. Yeah. Oh, jeez, you just... It's, <laughs> I just watched that happen, I really did. Your instinct is to shoot them, play chicken with them until they get really close, and then dodge down or up or... Look at this terrible side. side. I and think, then, actually, that... No, it just explodes. explode. But... Evil. I think having half a red heart means that if I ever get down to... If I ever lose my spirit heart, I can't get hit. I can't, you know, lose it again. Yeah. On one room. So if I only get hit, I can basically get hit once per room right now, which is the loss with Holy Mantle. It's a pretty no, good I can get hit twice because I'm only going to take half a heart from most attacks. Uh, this has been a good time not to have used Monsters Log on the last floor. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, I'm using it as soon as possible because you either don't use it at all or always have used it at the wrong time. Yeah, you always use it like one, oh, just great. before a big room. I uh, picked up half a heart, which was dumb. This converter, which is the opposite of what I want. I don't really... I don't care. I can't donate anymore. That was surprisingly quick. Oh god. Die. Got two of them, that's good. Monstro's tooth is not actually that bad of an item. It's just so hard to profit. It's just normally... <laughs> There's a better item, so you pick it. Oh, he didn't make a little bridge. No, no, no. Oh, that's true. So whatever item it is, we're going to have to pay for it. Go away. Leave me alone. No. Okay. It's HP, which I probably will want to pay for. I'll put one over there and see if it's the secret room. I may still... It is. Good call. Found the item room yet? We haven't found the item room in all of this. Oh, brilliant spiders. Why are, what are those white things on the red chest? I've never seen that before. Uh, that's the colorblind mod. Okay. All right. It also puts dots on the red poop. But there's blue poop now. Blue poop? Yeah, I'm not that quite work? sure what it does. That's brilliant. 
I didn't even. Oh! <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Now what what are you gonna do? Oh, I think it would do something if it felt seriously. Game. Toxic Look. I think this is a very average run. Because everything that we do is being. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. We've seen one new item and one new boss. One new item? Oh, yeah, the, the baby. But also, if you go in here and do this. This does not count as red heart damage as far as deal with the devil goes. But you get spirit. But I get spirit heart having done it. Uh, which I then wasted. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, oh, my God, I that. There was a red heart, but it's not a red heart. Okay. Episode. I think monstrous is a better option. Here. Can I please have a red heart from all of this? No. Uh, this is very bad because I didn't actually intend to do it that many times. What's happened here is I've really not thought it through. Oh, that was really fast though. Red heart? No. These are going to cluster. And then they're going to follow me through the pots of splash damage. Wow, that's really low. <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> right, let's undo that fuck up by stopping when I have. Oh, I can't oh. use it now. Lame. Okay, we just have to not get hit. You could use the IV bag. Do you think work. that would work? We'll find yeah. out. Well, if it doesn't work, I'll be on half a red <laughs> heart. <laughs> if it does work, I'll have a spirit heart. I do have a spirit heart. Hey. And a lot of cash as well. And a lot of cane, because I picked up 55 cents. That's pretty sweet. I might as well pick up a 56th. Do you know when I first came through this game trying to unlock Kane? So how the hell do you get 55 cents on any run? You get like one item and then play Blood Banks all the time. Well, it just turns out it happens. And get really bad shops where you don't want to do Of course, nice. it does. I'm pretty sure uh, Monstro's Tooth attacks the weakest thing on the, on the roof. So you want to make sure that there's nothing else in the room. Right, we should probably pick this up. Chubb is not a horrendously difficult boss, but he's kind of tanky and we don't have great damage. He's taken a lot of damage from your hits though. It's because he's hit. running over all the toxic splash damage, which is actually a really good counter against hard Chubb there. Alright, the deal with the devil. Nice. I did get a deal I with the devil. I got synth oil, which is nice. The colorblind mod also, uh, excuse me. I, I don't want you to be doing what you're about. Oh, it's... Okay. Uh, this game is getting more and more trolly with every update. <laughs> the colorblind mod also changes a couple of the syringes. So you can tell the difference between them. Because Roid Rage is very much the same color as... Um, experimental Treatment. Which is not something you want to pick up last. Oh, that was really handy. Thank you. <laughs> The toxic splash damage from, uh, top from Mysterious Liquid actually super helpful. Yeah, I mean, I had, I've picked it up before, but I've never actually realised what it did. I thought it... Ah. I think I've picked it up in conjunction with Cricket's body. Oh, you that's get, a really good thing. Like, a quad shot diagonally um, every time it hits something. But I thought... It just had like an aura or something. I didn't realise the green stuff on the floor actually did stuff until now. Oh, look. Now that I've got spectral tears. And several bombs. I think it's worth looking for a card. We're going very slowly. There's no way we're going to do boss rush on our first. <laughs> We've already missed it. You might find a card that's good. That's like a joke. Two of clubs. Oh. Two of clubs. There's no way I could get anything better out of that than to use it how I did. Uh, yes, there was. I could have used, used it after I'd done that. It will give you two bombs, won't it, if you... Yeah. Yeah, so I've so got one bomb. It's really minor bad. misplay just now. It's alright, though. It's not like the game's hanging. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, hope. <laughs> the difference between life and death on this one is where the mom goes down to the one bomb I don't have. I'm just have to, going to have to not use a bomb in the situation I'd like to. Do, do the guppy items get unlocked, or are they just available? Um... I honestly don't remember. I think they're just available. I can't think of any unlocks. I, d I don't remember unlocking them. Uh, Go for it. Yes. Oh, that's what we want. 
No, not that. <laughs> what you want. I hate these things actually. I've yet to learn how to deal with them correctly. Uh, got a apparently, shielded tears helped. Always move diagonally. Shielded tears helps because you you can see when they jump, so you step aside at that, at that point. But you have to not just step aside, but step diagonally. Or they end up landing and shooting you. And we can hang out over the rocks if we really want to scum it up. That's what I'd do. But I'd also like them to actually try and attack them. There we go. Well, now red heart damage doesn't matter, except for the very real danger of dying. Mm -hmm. When we run out of it, um, it's great to see these old rooms. <laughs> You know. Familiar rooms. Ones that have no one to do. do. Ah, thanks, monster. Do you know what? That was a pretty clutch monster's tooth. This is a pretty clutch infamy, because that's going to save us from some heartache. It's not XL for no. Oh, I really like infamy. I think it's a cool looking item as well. It saved a couple of lost runs for me in the past as well. It's, it's not just... something you can re rely on if you can't get hit at all. It's... Having infamy is protected from a shot, but. It feels so good to play as the most annoying enemy in the game. <laughs> Essentially. Well, it wasn't that way. Now all you need is, I is it Isaac's heart. Isaac's heart is on that way later on. And then you'll oh, be shoot through rocks. So we'll Whatever just... they're called. Come on! I'm, I'm not in any particular rush, but at the same time, expedience is appreciated, you know? Whoa! I nearly stood in front of that beam. And I don't know what happened to the other thing. I think it landed such that <laughs> the gluttony killed it. Take that. Yeah. I'm going to go in here. And we'll... Oh, brilliant. Steam Shops show. seem pretty sparse with items. Do you... Will you donate in it? Um, it unlocks... It improves as like, you donate. Oh, monster 2. Perfect. Did it? No. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> what, the donation machine? Yeah, you want to get to 999. Does that just increase the amount of slots that the shop can have for items? The, as you donate, it goes up to, you know, the seven that you're using. I think it's seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just do this. Don't jump. Good. <laughs> I baited him, but I forgot to get out of the way. There we go. He's shooting quite a lot of teeth as well. I used to have a good look stat. Maybe this is an average look stat and you're used to shitty characters with shitty look stats. Take this because it's you know, there. We've got one shot left, right? Yeah, this is depth one. So depth two is probably going to be where the game ends, but we might be able to get something decent from that final shot. Thank you for well, whatever did that doing that. It's really old. Okay, nearly done here. But what else could? Oh. Another deal with oh yeah, uh, goat head of course means we guaranteed to deal with the devil. There's a guppy item. I think it's actually better than Monster Hunter 2, do you, do you agree? Yeah. Now, do I take this? Because <laughs> it's a very good item, but it will ensure that we die. We're going to have to say no. I don't think we should. I would very much like to take Little Brimstone over there. I could have gone around looking for a Spirit Heart, actually, because that deal with the Devil's going to stay open. Never mind, we're here. The same room as before. Being able to find... Uh, no, thank you. Being able to fly on that room is uh, very handy. Also, this room. I'm glad you can step on it, <laughs> even though you're flying. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty um, bad design if you couldn't. It'd be pretty trolling. There's there's some rooms. I should probably be using this guppy's head more often. From Reaper, where you know there's like there's something in the corner of the room and it's blocked by rocks, and you can only shoot through it in the corner. And then there's those floaty heads flying around. Yeah, that little worm that yeah. pops around. Ooh, there's certain times where I thought that room might actually be impossible if you've got certain items. Hour um, I, that's yeah, nice. it can be. And literally just, just yeah. ruins your run if you've got no bombs. Well, you know that the rooms will open if you wait two minutes. Really? Yes, if you can't do a room, the doors will open after two minutes. Okay. That's good to know. Because I've, I've been in those rooms and thought, oh god, what if... I just watched and Northern stuff. Lion get stuck in the room. So many batteries, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> he turned on the co-op, babe. We should play co-op, actually. I forgot yeah, what I was thinking. I think, um, can I just press start on a controller? No. The I think you can't do it. Well, you can do it now, because I've just got some HP. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to ruin your run. 
but he used the co-op baby to get enemies that he couldn't reach with his actual spears because he had Mom's knife at such short range and it couldn't get across the gap between him and where the actual wall sticky spider things are. Normally I really dropped. hate this room, but I seem to have done quite well at it. The battery just dropped out of nowhere. It probably dropped out of my battery. Look at the size of this thing. It's big. It's ridiculously hard to hit considering how it's huge. I'm going to get that out of the way because I'm never going to walk into the fire. The batteries with Guppy's head are actually pretty decent. Yeah, I think it's Should a we uh, re-roll everything? Uh, no, apparently not. Got a chest out of it. Get some HP. Which you don't need. I think you've only got one red heart and a spirit yes, heart. Yes, because we've got at least two spirit hearts unless I had lost it because he had uh, maybe one and a half. But we've got the hero fan inside the curse room. Oh, we can do this because spirit of the night lets us shoot across rocks. Uh, hello? I mean, I could just chuck a bomb in there. <laughs> hello? How do you know? What are you doing? Maybe a spirit heart or a black heart? A lucky rock? Oh, sweet. Lucky rock's pretty handy. It's good if you have decent shots. What, like Ipecac? Shops. Oh, shots. Can you not be shooting me? <laughs> I can't get a shot there. Just, sometimes they're just like, yeah, whatever, shoot me. Sometimes they're like, I am not going to let you do it of to I think it's worth it, because you're not going to go into the chest. I'm not carrying this hangman card. Though. Is it worth it on this floor? I can't remember what comes after Monster 2. But I expect it's... Double Loki? Single Loki. Um, I was thinking it might be either Peep or the Bloat. I mean, if it's the Bloat, then I'd rather have it there. The Bloat's a very difficult boss for me to <laughs> achieve anything against. Shoot your guys. Yeah, good job. Can you stop jumping? I'm trying to... It's just rude, Monster. Monster of the Opera. Okay. There's been a lot of references to Monster in this game. I just wish his items were a bit like Monster's. Monster. Lung oh, thank you is... for me. You have to say that. When you get a slow charge on it, it's horrendous. It's, yeah. It will just it, kill the one. default charge. If you haven't got any tears upgrade, you pick up Monster's lung. It's a really slow charge. It's almost prohibitive. That was bad. Did you see that? I don't mind that. Also, don't like the fact that I don't know how much HP I've got on what I believe is going to be the last <laughs> floor of the game. Oh, that, that was risky. <laughs> right, I'm getting the hang of it. You have to have a couple of goes where you just oh, it is Loki. You're right. Let me get rid of that. Um, you have to have a couple of goes before you get into the swing of it. Mm. You do have to get in the zone. I'm not in the zone. We've been playing The Witcher <laughs> the past two days. Never, um, I've been recommended The Witcher, but I never picked it up. Honestly, it's like... Ow. Ooh. It's not okay. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't talk about other games. <laughs> it might distract you from the game at hand. Well, I might need to be in that sort of... Oh, what even was that? <laughs> you do have scapula, though, so... I might be in that fugue state where you talk about anything but what's happening on the screen and your brain sort of subconsciously takes over so you don't have to think about it. Oh, I hit something. Then. It's whether your peak state is good enough to complete it. <laughs> no, good. That was uh, a lot of effort for what we got out of it, which was it's basically like nothing. Key and some money. We've got the chariot card. The money is not going to help us particularly. Flush is certainly not going to help in any respect. It might help on a big room. Oh, if okay. you could use it on bosses, it would be nice. I might take it for a, like a room. <laughs> Get rid of the room. Because <laughs> it's got a six room charge, which is... A lot. Of I think okay. it's if it if it was um, the opposite of nerfed, buffed, buffed. Whoa, <laughs> the flush has got a thing now. Yeah, it would. If it was like four charges for a room, four charges for a use, I think it would be quite a good item, viable at least. I think the thing is, on certain rooms, it is ridiculously OP, like that room, or the basement rooms where you've got just a ton of flies. Especially if you've got petrified poop, because yeah. it synergizes. And then you just set the rest of the game consumable. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, crack into these. Just do it, just take it. it. Nothing will go wrong. Power pill? 
Ooh, I, th I think that will... slightly worse than the chariot, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's a devil card. What's this? I'll make sure that I go. One makes you large. Yeah. That's the stuff. Well, not that. I'm hoping that, um... Mom's hand will pop out when I did that, but I got the best out of it anyway. It didn't make my tears any bigger, which was reasonably... Hello? How am just doing over there? <laughs> That freeze effect is just very weird. I don't know what's causing it. I really need to practice the mom fight because I find myself moving around a lot because I'm scared of the foot. <laughs> As you could imagine. But that just causes me to walk into all the enemies that have been spawned. Yeah, you've got to sort of always keep an eye on that shadow underneath you. And then you forget to look at the actual enemies around you. I can't actually react in time for the... Um, noise, because there's a sound at the same time as a shadow. I think the sound turns up slightly after the shadow. But mostly I think if you just move every so often. <laughs> yeah. Rather than... I found whilst growing up... Was it right? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have any HP left. Yes! We've both lost. We've both lost. The game is hard again. The game is hard again. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. I think we'll do a, a daily for the next episode. Yeah, sure. I mean, how's that going to work in terms of... You just get the run. Playing it? Uh, you can, can do you replay it. it? We'll find out. We could try it co-op. Co uh, yeah, join us next time. Cheers, guys. Yeah.